Should you optimize your filter and category pages for search engine optimization? So first, what am I talking about here? Well, every website has categories and ways that they can filter products. And one of the things that's really exciting about these is if you turn them into individual URLs, and associate them with specific keywords, these can rank in Google and they can drive people to these specific categories and they can buy your products or they can sign up for your service. So in many enterprise SEO optimization strategies, we will find 10, 100, thousands or more pages that are actually filters or categories. And then the question becomes, do we block these from Google by doing something like a rel canonical or a no index, no indexing them or, or putting them in something called a robots.txt file, which essentially tells Google not to crawl the content on the page, or do we optimize them? So here's what you need to think about. First, is this the type of content that Google actually wants to rank? So if you do a search for one of the keywords that you would optimize this category or filter page for, what comes up in Google? Is it a blog post? Is it news? Or is it other categories? That's the most important thing to do first. Next, you want to think about the search volume. Is there enough search volume so that if you optimize one of these categories or all the categories, that it's going to be meaningful enough to the business that you put in the effort effort to do this. Generally, you want to see a few thousand searches a month minimum for each of these categories. Now, of course, you could be in a niche industry where one client is massive, so maybe that search volume could be a little bit lower in that case. After you've answered those questions, you then want to think to yourself, how big of a development expense would this be? And then understand the optimization strategy. Generally, you want to take three keywords and then the category name, and then you want to use that principle to optimize all the categories at once. The titles, descriptions, the keywords, the H1s, the H2s, you can use that for the unique copy that you're going to be writing on the page, the keywords you're going to be putting inside of the copy. And when you do this and match it with a large scale content project, you can then have a really, really large large amount of traffic coming into your website. And some businesses that we work with get millions and millions of visitors a month through this process. So should you be optimizing your filters and your categories for search engine optimization? If there is a demand there, and if that is the type of content that Google wants to serve, 110% you should be after evaluating the business case. If you have any questions or comments about category optimization or filters, leave it below. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.